I mean, people may have questions for you. You know what I'm saying? But listen, I don't give a f what they do. Ooh. I stand on what I say and I say what I Not say and F. I mean what I say. To argue with you, so all these people comment it, please don't think I care because I don't. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Around the Association. Uh, Shaquille O'Neal, one of the greatest big men to ever play in the NBA. He's been under a, a bit of a firestorm uh, the last few weeks, and it all started from comments he made in regards to Kyrie Irving. And just a quick back uh, drop in case you've been living under a rock, the Kyrie Irving shared a link to a movie that was on Amazon titled From Hebrew to Negro or something. <laughs> now, celebrities from LeBron James to Charles Barkley, they were all, you know, ridiculed on social media for their harsh takes towards Kyrie Irving, um, you know, sharing the link. Um, and, and they really harped on Shaquille O'Neal strong because it came to find out that Shaquille O'Neal has a movie theater and actually played the movie at his movie theater. And all Kyrie did was share a link. So they were really upset with the, the comments that Shaquille O'Neal made. Take a listen here at the comments that Shaq made while he was on uh, Inside the NBA on TNT talking about Kyrie Irving. I know that, that you know, the game that we used to love and we promote, it brings people together. And it hurts me sometimes when we have to sit up here to talk about stuff that divides the game. Now, now we got to answer for what this idiot has done. For what this idiot has done. This idiot has done. And with that one comment, social media lit up uh, accusing Shaquille O'Neal for being a coon, um, actually doing his little step in and fetch it act on, you know, for the white man's media, quote unquote. And Shaq has been relatively quiet in regards to all the backlash. He hasn't come out and really spoken on it until recently uh, on his podcast, uh, the big podcast with Shaq. He spoke with him and his co-hosts in regards to the Kyrie comments and what he meant and he didn't seem to be backing down a lot from what he had to say. Take a look here. And a lot of people took offense to what I said because a lot of times you, you, you listen, but you listen through emotions. Mm -hmm. When I said idiot, I meant you can't do anything that's going to blemish your name. You personally, especially if you have a bigger purpose, yeah. right? If you yes. say you have yeah. a bigger yeah. purpose, you, I get it. You personally can't blemish or tarnish your name, your legacy, or your career. You. So that's what Shaq said he was referring to, but then he continued on uh, because really a lot of the pushback was hey, Kyrie shared a link. He didn't play the movie on his platform, but you did play the movie in your movie theater. You had a choice to do that or not, Shaq. And this is what Shaq had to say in regards to that. So, you know, and then a lot of people, well, you played it at your, your theater in Newark. Yes, I did. Because as an African-American theater owner, when you bring your film to me, I let you play it. But like all films have sort of controversy. And like, I love gangster movies. I'm not going to watch a gangster movie and then grab my phone with 30 million people and say, hey, you should go watch this movie, kids. You see what he did to the boom, 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 boom? Y'all should go do that, right? So if he would have paid attention and watched the movie, you should have known that one line and one thing that they said, that right there was going to cause a, a storm with everybody. Now, that answer, <laughs> tell me what y'all think. I'm, I'm interested in reading the comments for this video because... I mean, you played at your theater and you're worried about uh, the the comments that's going to come from Kyrie sharing the link. I mean, you have a, some responsibility. I mean, not that you can get to everything, but you should have someone actually watching the movie because you're playing in your movie theater. You're selecting 
what goes into your movie theater and you decided to play this movie so I, I, I'm not sure I mean first of all I mean if, if Kyrie shared a link then they you have to have an Amazon Prime subscription you have to do all that to even be able to watch the movie versus I mean if you're advertising it that you're showing it at your movie theater I mean I'm I'm not understanding Shaq why he feels like what he did playing it at his theater is any less uh, offensive, if we want to call it that, than what Kyrie did. Maybe I'm missing something here. Uh, but Shaq does go on to say that he, you know, he uh, he's for Kyrie finding himself uh, digging into the religion uh and speaks on that take a listen here I'm glad that you found yourself i'm glad that you're studying this religion amari stoudemire has been doing this 20 years and he's been studying he's been dedicated you know i'm, I'm proud you know i don't i don't I don't mess with people's religions and what they do you believe what you believe and you stand on what you believe that's what you're supposed to do but when you put yourself in jeopardy you got to be smarter than that and that's all I was saying when I said idiot, because you know, sometimes you gotta, you gotta pay attention. But see, a lot of us, when we get this money and we get these followers, we think we know everything. Oh, hey, look what I'm learning and, and what you learn ain't, ain't, ain't right. You need to do this, boom, 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 boom. So yeah, so, so to all the people that, that said, oh, you played in your theater? Yeah, I played in my theater, but I didn't grab my phone with a hundred million thousand people and say, do this and do that. You gotta be careful with these phones, you know, social media is, is a powerful tool, but you, you have to uh, practice some type of responsibility with that. Now, Shaq, uh, you know, <laughs> he, he, you know, is kind of standing on what he said, even though some of it doesn't make sense. I guess it makes sense to him. But his co-host did say, you know, uh, you know, people may still have some questions for you. And that's where, you know, Shaq, you know, went back to his defensive mode. Uh, he wasn't uh, even trying to explain himself anymore. Uh, take a listen to what Shaq said here. Cleared it up. I mean, people may have questions for you. You know what I'm saying? But listen, I don't give a f what they do. Ooh. I stand on what I say and I say what Not I say and I mean what I say. See, right. in, in this life, listen, there's 8 billion people here. You're going to like it or you're not going to like it. Now, I wonder, is that a, a, a good defense for Kyrie? Uh, you gonna like it or you're not gonna like it. I mean, <laughs> that you know, at this point, he's actually, actually showing some of the posturing that he felt like Kyrie was showing that made him an idiot. So I guess if Kyrie is an idiot, with your answer, Shaq, I mean, aren't you also saying that you are an idiot? I don't know. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, seems like, you know, once more questions are asked and people start pressing, you realize some of the answers you gave Shaq, they, they don't make as much sense. And so what do you get whenever you, you, you can't make it make sense? You say, oh, I don't give a F. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll holler at you next time.